You guys got the hot sauce? No. I thought I saw you take it. Perfect, thanks, Mel. Dale, are you serious right now? What? I want them. <laughs> Dale, did you straighten your hair today? I tried. I mean, it's just so frizzy and I don't know. Shut up, go back. Looks fine, Dale. Are you guys sure? Like, I just, I just had to put a hat on. Dale, looks good. Okay, thanks, guys. Hey, Rhett, what are you doing after this? Right. Riley. What? Are you seriously? Yeah, I'm trying to talk to you. Tindering. What? Tinder? It's not, not tindering. Oh, oh, you're not tindering? That's not what's on your phone. Are you my mom? I should be. I mean, it seems like you need it. Biggest bruise in practice last night with your slap shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, that one just got away from me. Are you guys serious? You're still here? Yeah, yeah we should really get out of here. Know. Anybody want to play squash? All right, ladies, well, I've got a 12 hour lab. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Dale Wilkinson, number two, Stovall, Ontario. I'm going to miss most about Dale is how she's like a mom to the team and she takes care of everybody's problems and helps you out. I'm going to miss most about Dale is her advice. Uh, no matter what the situation was, you could always count on Dale to give you great advice. I miss most about Dale is her big, cute, friendly, welcoming smile. You know, she's always so happy about life and makes you feel happy. What I'm going to miss most about Dale is her hugs. One thing I'm going to miss about Dale is how she always would ask me what Instagram filter makes her look better when she really looks good of all of them. But if you really need help, Brooke's your girl. One thing I love about Dale is that she's always such a good friend. One thing I'm going to miss about Dale is working out with you at Bodysmith this summer. What I'm going to miss most about Dale is how she mentored me on defense and she was always there to pick me up. Riley Smith, number 15, Hagersville, Ontario. What I'm going to miss most about Riley is having her in the corner of the locker room. We definitely had our own relationship, everyone in the corner. I'm going to miss her scent and the Febreze bottle. For me, Riley was when she texted the incoming freshman for our class. <laughs> we were having a team gathering at the suite and we went to Jenks and couldn't find it, so we thought she was lying to us and we were like running around and we were convinced that they were all watching us and laughing. First impression of Riley was she was really intimidating because we were doing conditioning skates and she told me every time a goalie fell behind we had to do 10 push-ups and the whistle went so she never got to tell me she was just kidding. What I'm going to miss mo most about Riley is our long bus talks. What I'm not going to miss most is how she ruins my score on Flappy Bird on the bus. 
What I'm going to miss most about Riley are her high-pitched greetings. I'm going to miss most about Riley how she motivated me on the ice in practice. I'm going to miss when Riley drives my car instead of me on our roadies home. Mel DeRoche, number 18, Welland, Ontario. My favorite memory of Mel is when she stayed after practice one day and helped me with her, uh, my sick handling skills. I miss having heart to hearts with Mel and how you would always lighten up the mood in the room. What I'm going to miss most about Mel is that she's so laid back. No matter how stressed you are, you can explain your situation to her and she'll be like, oh, you'll be fine or it'll get better. And she's always um, supportive and positive. The one thing I'm going to miss about Mel is our weird conversations about science and the nerdy experiments that we do. One thing I like about Mel is how she tries to make the best of every situation. One thing I'm going to miss about Mel is our long rides back to SLU and our love for Shauna's coffee cake. I'm going to miss watching Mel fall asleep in anatomy class. Bailey Habscheid, number 21, from Weimark, Saskatchewan. My favorite memory of Habby is definitely freshman year when I showed up for the mile and a half and I was shaking, I was so nervous and I look over and she has these big sunglasses on to run the mile and a half and I wasn't too nervous anymore. The impression of Habby was how high pitched her voice was. The impression of Habby was, dang, this girl's got a shot. <laughs> I'm going to miss most about Bailey is her enthusiasm and passion that she brought to the game. One thing I'm going to miss about Habby is her turtle noises. My favorite memory of Habby is my freshman year when we took Science of Food together and it took Habby three tries to do her presentation in front of the class. My favorite memory of Habby is when we had class together and Nick Hughes would always call me out and she'd just piss her pants laughing. <laughs> One thing I'm going to miss about Habby is her really in-depth conversations about the biggest loser and big brother. What I miss most about Habby is her kind and genuine heart. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need When you feel so tired but you can't sleep Stuck in And the tears come streaming down your face When you lose something you can't replace When you love someone but it goes to waste Could it be But if you never try